welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the ever so loved Lorac 2. I am so excited about this. Sorry it's taking me so long to get the swatches up to you guys, but I love this palette. I did do this eye look today with it using some of the silvers and grays. So this is what it looks like right here. So pretty. It does have a mirror down here and look at those colors. I mean there's such a good combination. If I turn it this way, sorry, that way you can see it properly. This whole top row is all matte. The whole bottom row is all shimmers and they have the exact same quality of pigment as the Lorac palette 1. Lorac just has the smoothest, nicest textures and they're just so beautiful and pretty. I mean, gorgeous. So I used the silver on my eyelid on the from the beginning to the middle, and then I used the charcoal on the outer lid and also um, into my crease. And my transition shade was the cool gray, and then I used the buff for my brow bone. So let me go ahead and show you some of these, and then I will also show you some swatches of them. So this is buff really soft and pretty and gosh they're just so soft I mean like butter soft so so soft so there is buff just a perfect transition shade for you just beautiful I mean brow bone shade for you sorry and then next we have light brown and there's that swatch and light brown is right here And then next we have the cool gray, which is what I use as my transition color. And then cool gray is right there for you. This one is cool gray. And cool gray is the third one right here. And then next, I really, really like this one. This one is called Nectar. I'm going to start swatching here for you so you can see better. So there's Nectar. Just a really nice neutral peachy color shade and nectar is right here sorry I'm looking over here to make sure I'm in focus <laughs> so there's nectar okay so next we have plum and plum is a beautiful purple shade but it's like it's like a burgundy purple so there is plum I mean look at that just like amazing pigmentation. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then we have navy, which I was really kind of torn. I'm excited, but kind of like, oh my goodness, too, about it. Um, because navy could go either way. Sometimes it could be too blue. Sometimes it could be not enough blue. It just always seems to go one way or the other. So this is actually a really great true navy navy. It does have um, just like, I don't know, it has tiny tiny little sheenness to it but it comes across matte. You would never know that it wasn't matte. Okay so next we have plum and plum is a beautiful purple shade but it's like it's like a burgundy purple so there is plum I mean look at that just like amazing pigmentation beautiful 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 and then we have navy which I was really kind of torn I'm excited but kind of like oh my goodness too about it um because navy could go either way. Sometimes it could be too blue, sometimes it could be not enough blue. It just always seems to go one way or the other. So this is actually a really great true navy navy. It does have um, just like, I don't know, it has tiny tiny little sheenness to it but it comes across matte. You would never know that it wasn't matte. 
So that is navy. And then charcoal is next. Charcoal is the one that I used um, in my used in my outer crease and the V today. Let's see if I can get a better look for you guys. So there is charcoal right there. Just a beautiful, nice, smoky charcoal color. I mean, if you were to do a smoky eye with these, I think that it would just look beautiful, like flawless. Navy stains a little bit. <laughs> So let me go ahead and do black for you. And this black is beautiful. A nice matte black is hard to find. So there's black for you. Sorry. And black is right here at the end of the palette on the top row. Nice matte black. And then the next are going to be the shimmers. And the shimmer colors are like not, they're not insane shimmer but they definitely have a nice glitter some of them are a little rougher than others all the matte shades by the way all feel like butter I didn't have any of them that felt chalky or rough or anything so first I'm going to start with snow snow is just a beautiful white shade just so perfect for every day on your eyelid if you wanted in your brow bone just so you could have a little shimmer in there and then next we have beige and beige is exactly kind of beige is like a off-white nude color it's not white but it kind of has like a hint of peach to it so it's not it's not tan like I would think buff would be but it just has a nice sheen to it just a beautiful um, lid color as well. And then this one is a lot of people's favorites. It is my favorite too. Same thing. So buttery, soft, and smooth is Rose. Rose is right here, and it is exactly what it is. It's a true, beautiful rose gold color. And let me swatch Rose for you. I mean, look at that pigmentation. It's just it's crazy. Like... How it's so buttery soft and smooth and just so pigmented and the way it catches the light is awesome next we have mocha and mocha is more like a purple kind of undertone to it um, all these are cool shades so they all come off a little bit um, not as deep as you would think like the mocha to me it has a little brown it has like a little orange color in it, but it is definitely a brown color, but it's just not chocolate brown like I would think a mocha would be. Next we have chrome. Chrome is right here, and chrome is exactly what it sounds like also. It just is kind of like a pewter color, just like you would think a chrome would be, but it, same thing, it just has that dual chrome finish to it. It's just so beautiful. There's chrome. And let's see. The next is silver. And silver is what I have on my eyelid today. And silver is just as smooth and buttery and soft. And there is silver for you. Just a beautiful, true, true silver color. Next is jade. Jade is exactly like what it sounds to. It's just a nice, beautiful, like, green color. It's not like army green, but it's not a lime green. It's kind of just a very nice, dark green color. And it does have that same, you know, duochrome and sparkle. But it's just like, it's beautiful. I would say it's more, more like a forest green. Kind of like what you'd find on like a camouflage suit or something. Show it to you. So the next is cocoa. This one is actually what I would consider a true brown, truest to any of the other shades when it comes to a brown color. And let me swatch cocoa for you. So there is a swatch of cocoa. I mean, look at how deep and dark and pigmented it is. It's just amazing. It's beautiful. I mean, it's just so... I hope you liked my review of the Lorac 2 palette, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.